Hello, everybody, and welcome to a continued Grand Prix. Uh, we're watching from Brennan Kammermann's perspective here, where he's playing Spiritomb, likely ADP Spiritomb versus Dragapult V. Um, we fortunately had the time to switch over to another Grand Prix match, and of course, we again, like we see, uh, saw in the first round with Burt Walters playing Dragapult, we're seeing Dragapult being playing again. This time, though, against Spiritomb ADP. Uh, yeah, uh, it's round four actually, not round three. It's just that one of our pools is uh, running really early. Oh. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So we were able to catch. We're a bit late on catching this game, but they just started. So it's the first turn for Brandon's opponent, and yeah, they just started. And then this pool is has started very very early. So we switched to it because then we can guarantee that we can show another game um, from another pool this round. Exactly right, Philip. But we're seeing here something that could be intended to a lopsided matchup if Brennan draws well enough. As you see, um, Spiritomb hitting for weakness on those Dragapult V maxes, and uh, it just depends on if Brennan can set up or not. Yeah, exactly. But there's also like some interesting dynamic because Dragapult, of course, um, spreads a lot of damage to the bench Pokemon as well. So um, yeah, that can be pretty interesting to. Manage uh, if Brennan's able to manage his spirit tombs uh, properly and get damage on board, and then of course with Hustle Belt, Rainbow Energy, and Jinx, he can put three damage counters on Spirit Tomb in one turn, and then uh, hit for 160, which is enough to one shot uh, Dragapult. But yeah, it's not to it's not that easy to do it, and Brennan has a lot of very frail Pokemon, which um, <coughs> which. Uh, his opponent can take advantage of with Dragapult's attack. So yeah, yeah it it's definitely all about bench management for a brand here in this case. And yeah, it, it will be interesting to see how it works out for um, Brennan and yeah, how able, how well his opponent's able to combat that. Yeah, so we still see he's not going for the ADP strategy right off. He's going more of a route of Mono Spiritomb. And he's like just gonna attach Rainbow and grab the knockout of Mew here. But that leads him into awkward prize trade though. Um because then he's gonna go into at least a seven prize trade. Um if he takes the knockout and he likely will when he attaches that energy. Yeah, also losing the one rainbow energy is of course uh, yeah, it's not optimal for him because, of course, he likes to have those rainbow energies to make sure that he can increase the amount of damage counters in a single turn. And yeah, every rainbow energy gone is, of course, a great thing for his opponent. And yeah, but with Mew damage, can come in quite handy, being able to uh, yeah put up more damage on the bench because basically, Brennan will need to set up quite a big combo to get his spirit tombs ready because he can't just like build up bad damage like this. Now, okay, now Brennan is of course risking it, knowing that he doesn't have too great of a hand and he's just risking it. But if his opponent is able to find Malamal and Dragapult VMAX and get an attack yeah. off this turn, yeah, that means that he can just pick off two spirit tombs in the same turn. And oh, he also or has double six Sigoon here can also knock out the active at least. <laughs> and Brennan and goes for the sad face. We all know that's not good for him. And it, almost no matter what he brings up here, like he's if his opponent goes for a Dragapult V Max, it's going to be a double KO. Yeah. If he gets a mom or pieces and a Dragapult V Max, of course. So he's going to research for seven. Likely, of course, digging for this. So you need switching card, energy, mom or and Dragapult V Max. And yeah, the Malama able to well if he can manage to set up to set it up, it's gonna come in really, really handy. It's uh yeah, one of those cards that a lot of players are opting in for that deck. And even for Dragapult only needs two energies, having that one guaranteed attachment can of course be very huge. And it can often be the difference between being able to use something like Malolana or Boss's Order instead of being forced to use a draw supporter just to find energy. So, yeah, it will be interesting to see if that Malama comes in huge here. But yeah. Yeah, so he misses. So Nothing that's, for now. That's huge for Brennan because he gets to stay alive, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Spirit Tomb saved. 
And yeah, now uh, still, however, no great aggression from him. Him, uh, his opponent's Dragapult relatively safe on the bench because Brennan is, um, needs supporters to set up. Oh. He even plays Pokemon Catcher in this, so <laughs> he's able to catch up stuff without boss's orders, which is important for this when he needs to draw cards. Meanwhile, having to build these combos uh, with dragging up these Dragapult VMAXs, but we just have to see our next turn is very critical for his opponent in terms of getting this attack off, and for Brennan then afterwards to be able to respond twice at least. Yeah. Grabbing the hustle build of this, he needs that for the combo to knock out the V Max later. Alright, and... <clears throat> He's gonna go for the ominous posture no, building spites instead. Yeah, building spites, ominous posture. Being able to remove those damage counters from spirit Tombs is quite nice for him, since that means that the spirit Tombs can't that can't be targeted that easily by Dragapult. And yeah, Brennan's deciding to go for the aggressive option here. Attacking yeah, that what spirit. that's what Brennan has to. He can't. Give his opponent too much time here. He wants now to take the knockout on Jirachi and then afterwards being able to uh, to knock out a, uh, a Dragon Pull VMAX and then take a one prize afterwards for him to go for the, I can say, easier way of uh, finishing this game up. Yeah, for sure. And for Anguish Crank coming down for the knockout. Now, Brandon down to four prizes. Um... Yeah, he's playing the ADP version, um, otherwise four prizes would be quite the interesting number <laughs> because then you may could go for Knockout and Dragapult VMAX and use Jirachi Prism Star to take an extra prize. But yeah, the, this way Brandon will be forced to take a Knockout on Dragapult VMAX and another Pokemon. So if his opponent is able to find a Dragapult here, it would be it would be looking pretty decent for him. Exactly. and Especially, yeah. Especially yeah, we're going to see this Dragon Ball here, and that mm -hmm. means that when Brennan has, if he puts the damage on Spiritomb, all the five damage counters he can spread around, if he puts all of them on Spiritomb, he closes off the window of Rainbow Energy. Yep. Getting attached to Spiritomb, which might be an interesting play from his opponent's perspective, since it closes off some cards he can need, but yeah, I was going to go instead say. for double KO. Yeah, I was about to say, it's... it's kind of risky, because that would mean that um, Brennan only needs an Aurora Energy, and like this, he will need um, a Rainbow Energy and a Hustle Belt to get to the knockout, and otherwise an Aurora would guarantee it. So, yeah, so Brennan's going yeah. for a strong top decks here, and whoa! <laughs> That's the Hustle Belt! What a top deck! That was the only card! Oh my With god. With supporters, he could top deck to get this knockout. Holy moly! That yeah. is... Yeah, that's how you do it. Impressive draw here from Brennan, getting the perfect, um, getting the perfect combination of cards of this money. And yeah, now needs to also use Arminius posture, and this will activate his hustle belt. And wow, amazing position for him now. Yeah, and then that requires his opponents to go for Malamar and get the full Malamar compliments to actually follow up on this, but. Just that Marnie there, Brennan getting four cards and still being able to hit what he needed off that. So, right now with this six Dragoon, he has to get up uh, um, Dragon Ball VMAX now with the Malamar play. Otherwise, this game is going to be over really soon. For sure. Um, yeah, also, we. I'm. I'm uh, unfortunately, unable to provide the name of Brennan's name because uh, of Brennan's opponent's name because it's some Japanese kanji which I can't read. So I just added the uh, yeah the Japanese flag there. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I can't tell what that means exactly. Well, anyway, yeah, that, that's what we need David for. <laughs> yeah, for... but he gets the Malamar in, so he just needs a switching card for this uh, Jirachi as well. And don't forget, he still needs one more attachment. Now, I guess he has it, though. And goes with Mysterious Treasure. Yep. So where's the switching out for this Jirachi here? Mysterious Treasure 
first. Let's see what discards. Discards a psychic. And gets a Giratina. Okay, so this might be where he does not have the options to actually retreat this, and he has to Giratina off the special energy, which is what he does now. Huh. So Brennan can top deck a dark colored energy in some fashion that isn't. Well, Rainbow is still a counts because James yeah, is in play. Exactly. So any energy that's darkness color and. Nope. Yeah, he has oh, yeah. quick buff also. He. Um, let's check if he does play. Whatever. Well, he probably does play one to Dana, which he could. Oh, yeah. Never yeah, he mind. Yeah, he has party, it on so board. He has, he has to play two. Yeah, true. He has it on board. So, not a great spot. And this. Yeah, this. Uh, did that, this Giratina might be just enough to keep his opponent in play. However, uh, yeah, it's still pretty fine for him if he's able to find... He, because he only needs to find one knockout at some point to close up yeah, his game. You can see he has the Pokemon Catcher in hand. He has the Skateboard for Jirachi, so there's there's still options when Dragapult VMAX goes up and takes his knockout. That brand's going to be able to put up this Jirachi. And go for Stellar Wish into perhaps wishingly a professor's research. He's gonna go for attachment on Jirachi, plays research of his own, and then yeah, we're likely unless he draws switch or skateboard, gonna see the Jirachi retreat without using Stellar Wish, of course. So new Stellar Wish so that means that he has a retreating option in hand. Or very likely he has. Let's see what he gets from this. A little bit suspenseful here, but we have to see, like, Brennan's hand is really good for a backup here. Like, after this, Brennan's hand is, re hands are still really strong, but he just has to see an energy and a catcher head split. So, do you guys get to scoop up net? And a skateboard, yeah. He's going to be able to retreat, puts up the Dragon Pull V Max, and he's going to go. But a big one for the attack here. The Max Phantom. Yeah, putting himself into a position where he can potentially win next turn if he finds um, a boss's order, of course. And yeah, the Dragon Put is as good as anything right now. Since Bannon only has one price anyways, he doesn't really care. Dragon Put is like his tankiest Pokemon right now. Definitely. And yep. Yeah, Brennan here is going to promote Jirachi. Gonna try and quick ball to thin out his deck first, and then he's gonna try and stall wish for something. And acrobat as well. I would like him to play the quick ball first, though. Yeah, let's for see sure. if he does that or if he acrobats first. But also the what? quick wait, he's gonna draw into acrobat. So yeah, yeah. your the extra jinx can actually be useful here, using it twice. So you get enough damage onto the spirit tomb to knock out Drachi or Lowland Six again. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, with the second Jinx, he doesn't need a Rainbow Energy. He just needs Aurora Energy and a Hustle Belt on the Spirit Home to take a knockout on the Dedenne, uh, on the Dragapult. Or and just yeah, flip oh, yeah. Pets on Catcher. Exactly. He can just flip Pets. So he gets a Marnie. Right. It's a hard draw option here. Not opting to so... use... Oh, yeah. Yeah, not opting he... to use a Quick Ball because he just doesn't have anything to discard right now, of course. If you flip Hex on this catcher, who could Quick Ball the other one? Oh, Tails, and let's see. Hmm. He has to play it, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably has to. Hmm. Thinking about it. Yeah, but otherwise he needs so many more cards that there's more, more than one. We just need to see him flip Hex. Tails again! Yeah, so now he that needs a second change. That is humongous. Now he needs to take the high road here to actually make sure that he can win this game. He needs Hustle Bet Lambo of this. Or oh, Aurora. Oh! And, ooh. No! He does not get that. His hand is actually dead. Yeah, so he probably... Hmm... Wants to, yeah, uh, yeah, probably wants to take an, yeah, a damage counter off of the Jirachi. I was thinking to make, yeah, yeah to make sure that the, that the Fio, uh, actually it doesn't really matter. Fiona is not enough anyways, and oh yeah, there's there's a big charm on the Jenna actually, so that's quite nice for him. Now, um, yeah, there's there's no easy way. Ah, uh, I guess 
no, no, there's no easy way for his opponent to win the game, I think. Um, well, he has to boss orders. Yeah, but yeah, I guess he can but... boss orders with Spiritomp, which is basically the game, because then Brandon will be out of attackers. But yes. the only way to immediately win this turn would be to use double scoop up net for Zigzagoon and take the knockout on the Dene, I believe. Or like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's one. Plays it down again. It's an and easy second yeah. one. Yeah, actually, oh, that's interesting. I was expecting him to just put it on the spirit home, but yeah, I guess, the, okay, yeah, this is a well, double knockout. Yeah, also, this is fine. Yeah, it's double knockout, so we're yeah. fine. Yeah, he could have just, the scoop up net itself was already basically game because he could have just taken the knockout on the spirit home and yeah, just eliminate Brennan's last attacker. But yeah, this way he has the double knockout on the Jinx. And therefore, we see Brennan not hitting the pieces he needed and not flipping the heads on Pokemon Catcher either to seal that game up for himself. And Yeah, the Pokemon Catcher weren't like that decisive in the end since he drew the Hustle Belt anyways. But yeah, not being able to find a Rainbow or Aurora Energy for a Spiritomb there. It's, it's just sometimes that, that little thing that hurts the Spiritomb deck, only having eight energies at its... Uh, available and having to find it every turn to keep attacking. So yeah, Spirit Home even is not exactly low maintenance. You always need to find Spirit Home, so energies, sometimes tools and get a lot of damage counters on them. And yeah, sometimes the Spirit Home deck just doesn't manage to do that all the time. And yeah, unfortunately Brandon wasn't able to find the energy for his last Spirit Home, but still an interesting game between Dragapult and Spirit Home here. And uh, definitely well played by both players. Yeah, so this round for sure we can show you another round because the head rushes were kind enough to hold off their uh, pools a little bit. So we will go to a quick break and we will find another game to show from this round. So don't